Welcome to the Jefferson Elementary Center. Apologies for technical difficulties. This game, this game features the Jefferson Jaguars with a record of 12-3, taking on the Greenmont Grizzlies. The first half of action. So after being pushed up and down the floor for the Grizzlies, your main score is number 11, Charlotte Eckle. She's the point guard for the Grizzlies. And your, your leading score for the Jaguars, and the one who uh, is the leader for the Jaguars, is number 13, Zoe Cullen. We start the second half. With the Jaguars leading 7-3, Cullen drives down the right side. She shoots from the right corner. It's no good. Ball taken out there by Echo. Echo drives right to the court. She shoots off the layup. It is good. And it is 7-5. 4.44 left in the third quarter. Ball is inbounded. Cullen crosses over to her left. Passes to the wing. Number one, Shelby Cullen. Who then passes it to the right wing. Zaya Abelmona who passes the ball inside. Now ball down to the left block, shot by number 22. That is Kennedy Curtis. She shoots, it's no good. Rebound by the Grizzlies. Echo drives right. Attacks the basket, she puts it off the glass. It is good and we're tied. It is seven to seven. 403 left in the third quarter. Cullen drives right. Kicks it back out to Cullen. Cullen shoots from the right wing. It's no good. Rebound LeMaster for the Jaguars, who gives it to Abelmona. She shoots from the garden spot. It's no good. Rebound by the Jaguars. I believe that's Ariana Crowder shooting for the Jaguars. Apologies in advance. A little colorblind black numbers on the red. Sometimes I don't see the numbers as well as I do. As I should, excuse me. But it is Ariana Crowder at the line shooting too. She puts the shot up off the front rim. The Jaguars come in and encourage their teammate. You know, one of the things I love seeing at this level is the sportsmanship and the encouragement that the kids have for one another. And you see it at the older levels, yes, but you don't see it as much as you see at this level. It's good. It is very really heartwarming. There is a violation on Greenmont number 20 on the track. She entered the lane too soon. Now checking in with John Fee for Greenmont is number four, Sophia Delegati. So Crowder gets another chance at her second foul shot. She dribbles. As the basket puts the ball up, off back rim, and it is rebounded by the Grizzlies. Charlotte Eckler, who pushes the ball up the floor, tries to get a look up, but the pivot foot on her jump stop, and we have a traveling violation, and the ball goes back to the job. The ball is inbounded. Cullen brings it across half court, throws it to the right wing, and the ball is out of bounds to the Grizzlies. Three thirty-two left in the third quarter. Seven-seven between the Grizzlies and the Jaguars. Remont drives up. Gets the pass out to the Master. The Master shoots. It's no good, and the ball is out of bounds to the Jaguars. With three sixteen remaining in the third quarter. One of the things that stands out about both these teams is the height of their point guards. Both of them have fairly tall point guards. Especially Jefferson. Zoe Collin. Zoe Collin might be the tallest player on the floor, but she is the, is the point guard deserving of so. Ball inbounded by the Grizzlies, the master. That's it! Right side. She puts the shot up. It's 
no good. Rebounded by Eckert. She kicks it out to number five. That's Emerson Crystal. Who passes it to Delegati. Delegati shoots from the left 10 foot. No good off the glass. Rebound by the Jaguars. Cullen pushes the ball up the floor. Pushes it inside. And the foul is called. Foul called on Jillian Farley. That's her first foul. And for the Jaguars, Ariana Crowder is at the line again. She dribbles. Third dribble. Has the basket. Puts the ball up. And it rolls off right rim. Two forty-three remaining in the third quarter. Ariana ties the basket again. She dribbles. Now she shoots. And it's off back right rim. It's no good. Rebound by number 20. That's Caitlin Kimes. She pushes it up. Now she passes to Echo. He drives to the right corner. Shot from the right corner is no good. Rebound by Greenman. Let's go, no let's go. Finally threw it out of there by the Jaguars. Rosalie Duncan, number one. He drives and she is body checked into the stands. All right, number five. That would be Emerson Crystal. Body check makes it sound like it was intentional. It definitely was not. The ball was inbounded and knocked back out of bounds by the defense. And now the inbound is there in that in the deep corner, dead man's corner back down there. That's a difficult place to inbound the basketball. The ball is inbounded. Back to the back court, number 22. For Jefferson. Kennedy Curtis got the ball. She falls to the floor. Traveling back violation and the ball goes to the Grizzlies. 2 11 left on the turning clock. Echo brings it across the half court. She passes Crystal. Crystal to Khan. Khan to Echo. And the ball is knocked out of bounds by the Jaguar Beacon. Side out to the Grizzlies. Ball passed in to the Grizzlies. Gets the second right side. Shot by Echo. It's no good. Rebound by the Jaguars. Number one, Shelby Cullen. Cullen pushes it up. She now gives it to Zoe Cullen. Zoe Cullen back to Shelby Cullen. Shelby Cullen shoots. It's no good. LeMaster with the rebound. She falls to the floor. Traveling violation. Grizzlies get the basketball. A minute 41 left in the third quarter. Has to be expected. Close contest here between two very evenly matched teams. LeMaster brings it across, passes it to Chrysler. Chrysler to Kimes. Kimes tries to shoot, but she is blocked by Zoli Collins. She takes the block, goes the other way. She shoots, rolls off the rim. Rebound by Echol. Echol drives right side. She looks to score. Loses control of the ball as she's going to the hoop. And the ball is pulled out of there by the Jaguars. Zoe Collin on the crossover is fouled by number two, Katie Lamaster. That's her first foul, and that's the team four. Something to look for late in this ball game is the number of team fouls. And Greenmont has 14 fouls. That could lead to the one and one coming into the play late in the ball game. Additional foul shots are a big deal. We have an alternating possession on the inbound, and the Jaguars will get the ball underneath the basket with one minute remaining. The pass to the right corner. Shot by number one, Shelby Collin. It's no good. Rebound. Rebound by number 23. Tyler Walterson. She's at the line, she'll shoot two. It is Ariana Crowder, not Tyler Walterson. And I apologize for that. Ariana Crowder, she dribbles. She dribbles again. Looks up, she shoots. It's off left rim. Now coming into the ball game for the Grizzlies, number four. Sophia Delegati. Sophia Delegati 
comes in. And Katie Ann LaMaster, she comes out with 56.8 seconds remaining. Ariana Crowther dribbles the basketball to shoot. Eyes the basket, spins the ball, takes a deep breath. Shot is up, and it, the rim was not kind. It hit every part of that rim, and the ball just did not go down. Alternating possession, and the ball will be given to the Grizzlies because of the arrow. The ball was inbounded by the Grizzlies. And number 11, Charlotte Ecker brings the ball across. She looks for a pick. Crystal with the pick, and she's called for an illegal screen. That is the 16 foul on the Grizzlies. And we are not done with the third quarter. And that is something that could come into play. The Grizzlies are in a diamond track. 1-3-1-esque with the Pistons high. Shot on the left side by Zoe Cullen. There's a scrum on the floor for the rebound. And the alternating possession will go to the Jaguars. 35.6 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play. Jefferson lines up on the foul line. They throw it out to Zoe Collin out of the foul line. He puts it off the glass and it is good. And the Jaguars take a 9-7 lead with 20 seconds remaining. Eckel drives right, crosses over to her left, shoots from about 12 feet away. It's no good. Rebounded by Kimes. Kimes is blocked. The shot was blocked by Zyla out of Ramona, given to Zoe Collin, who drives the right side, tries to push it inside. It's stolen. The Grizzlies get the ball with five seconds to go. Echo drives the court. She's trying to shoot. She shoots from the foul line. It's no good. Rebounded. And we have a foul. The rebound by the Grizzlies was by number four, Sophia Delegati. And this is going to be declared a shooting foul. And apologies, I did not catch who the foul was on. I just, I just didn't catch it. The ball goes in. However, she jumped over the line, and the basket is no good. We have a violation for going over the line. Jaguars lead nine to seven. Tonight is the championship for the Wood County Elementary Rec League. And it is literally a David versus Goliath matchup as we get Williamstown, who comes into the ball game undefeated at 15 and up. Excuse me, at 14 and up. And they'll take on the number seven seed, kind of a Cinderella, the Gahan Eagles. The Gahan Eagles narrowly escaped the first round. They won 22-16, but that game was 16-16 with under a minute to go. The Eagles then went on to advance. They beat the number two seed, Wood County Christian. And then last night, they beat the number three seed, the Jefferson Jaguars. And so they enter into this contest as an unexpected championship contender. Could they pull the third straight up upset and win the county championship? Or will Williamstown perfect their perfect season? That all remains to be seen. Fourth quarter action in the press is now eligible. And the Jaguars have chosen to stay back. Five minutes to go to see who wins third place 
here in the Wood County Recreation Commission Elementary Girls League. Ball is inbound, a pass to the left wing. Now to the high post, now to the left corner to Eckler. Eckler shoots, it's off the rim, no good. Rebound by the Jaguars. Joey Collin pushes it up. She passes to LeMasters, who loses control of the ball. Zyla Abelmona gets the ball, she shoots, it's blocked. And then we have an alternating possession. This ball will go to the Jaguars with 4.32 remaining in the contest. For the Jaguars. Curtis, inbound. She tries to throw it to Zoe Collins. The ball is knocked out of bounds by the Greenmont Grizzlies. The Greenmont fans don't agree, but that is the call. And the Jaguars get the ball and it is inbounded. And this pass goes to Zoe. And it's 11 to 7, 422 left in the ball game. Charlotte Echo drives Stay right, winners. looks to score, puts it up, no good. Rebound by Kynes, Kynes shoots, no good. Rebound by the Jaguars. Cullen Pack pushes it ahead, she shoots it off the glass, no good. Rebound by Jillian Farley. Ball is then stolen, but then stolen back by Echo, who pushes the ball ahead. She pulls up, yeah. shoots a layup, and is fouled by number 21. That is Ariana Brock Crowder. That's her first foul. Only the second team foul by the Jaguars in the half. And so at the line, she did too. So she dribbles twice, spins, dribbles twice, spins, ties the basket, takes a deep breath, puts it high up in the air, falls off to the left. It's the ball, dribbles three times, spins, dribbles once, spins, spins again, takes a deep breath, puts the ball up, nothing but net, it's 11 to 8. And the pass is down the floor, the ball is inbound, the ball is inbound, she is here, but before the foul, she did shuffle her feet, and the ball will be underneath to the Dreamont Grizzlies. The 11 to 8 is the score with 3 minutes and 52 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Come on, Come on, Stay defense! Defense! Stay, 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 stay! Echo gets the ball, shoots. It's no good. Crystal gets the rebound, shoots it from the right corner. It's no good. Ball comes out all the way to the top. Get the ball! by the Grizzlies. Echo gets the ball. She's trying to drive. She pulls up from the three-point. Jaguars by a single point. Ball is inbounded by Crowther. It's Zoe Collins who gets the ball, drives down the right side. She pulls up on the right wing. Perfect pressure put on by the Jaguars. Number one, Shelby Collin. Guarding, putting pressure. On number 11, Charlotte Echo. She drives down the right side. She shoots, it's no good. But she is fouled by the Jaguars. Number 14, Zaya Abelona. And we are going to have two shots. With her hands on her hips. Charlotte Echo stands at the line. Zaya Abelmona, she is tying the shoe. The shoe is waiting, so we have some time to discuss. And Eckler takes three dribbles, spins, two dribbles, spins, deep breath, shot goes up. with exactly three minutes to go in this ball game. Eckler looks, dribbles, eyes the basket, up, high up, up, but left backboard, it's no good. Rebound by the Jaguars. Ball is pushed up, however, it's to the right side of the Jaguars are trapped by the Grizzlies. 
and an all lady possession at midcourt, and the Grizzlies will get the ball, the opportunity to tie the score with two minutes, 52 seconds remaining on the clock. The ball is inbounded by Eckel. Eckel shoots from the left wing. It's no good. Rebound by Kennedy. Break the press. Lay out the moon. The drive goes down the right, left side. It's no good. The shot is no good and it's rebounded by Echo. And we have a foul on number one. That is Shelby Cohen. And so the foul count is starting to even out. And the Jaguars are going to bring in number 15, Maya Barker. She's going to come in for number 22, Kennedy Curtis. It will be side out on the bleacher side with two minutes and 31 seconds left for the Grizzlies. However, we have a timeout called by the Greenmont Grizzlies. Well, it's been a wonderful year for girls elementary basketball here in Wood County. And we thank you guys for your support all these kids and the kids that are listening to this podcast on audio delay just know that we all really appreciated all your hard work and everything that you did and as a former coach myself i'm going to encourage that when you get older get back to the game coach officiate keep blocked Help me keep score back, whatever you do. Once your playing days are over, you're going to get back. That's like, you know, we're getting back right now. All right, teams are coming back onto the floor. And the Green Mark Grizzlies are in the inside. Third and pressure, but it's going to the Jaguars. Passed out to Zyla Adderman, and now pass back to number one. To Shelby Cullen, who shoots, it's no good, tries to get the rebound, but they have a scrum on the floor and an alternated possession, and the Jaguars will get the arrow with 2.22 remaining in the fourth quarter. Crowder, passing it in. Again, they were thrown by the Grizzlies, the Grizzlies bring it up. Pass it to LaMaster, she drives to the right side. She shoots over a Jefferson player. Shot is no good, rebounded by Jefferson. And Zoe Cullen brings it up on the fast break. She pulls up from 17. Shot no good. Ball is going out to half court. And the ball is out of bounds. In the back court. And Greenland will get a shot in their front court. The ball, with a minute 55. ball passed to the Echo. Echo shoots. It's off rim. No good. Throw in the paint. We're pulled out by Greenmont. Number two, the Masters shoots. It's no good. Rebound by Echo. Echo on the left corner. She shoots. No good. Rebound by the Jaguars. By number 22, Kennedy Curtis. Billy Cullen dribbling against the press. Guarded closely by Chrislip. The ball goes out of bounds. No, it doesn't hit his save. And Crystal comes out of the front with the ball. Now we have the ball with loose ball on the floor. And it's going to go to an alternating possession. 13-11 with a minute 24 remaining. And Greenmont will have the ball coming out of the timeout. One twenty-four left on the clock. Now coming into the ball game for Jaguars number one, Shelby Cullen. She'll be coming in when we come out. Audio broadcast. Yeah, I retired last year after 
30 years and they've brought me back in. You enjoy it now. I just don't want a full schedule anymore. I don't want to do 50 games here. I want to do about 12. That's about enough for me. All right, the Grizzlies are going to inbound the ball about two-thirds court away from their basket. The ball is inbounded. The ball is passed and stolen by a Jaguars number one. Shelby Cullen, she shoots a layup. It's rolls out of the rim. She fights for the rebound along with Dremont number 10, Jillian Farley. The ball is tied up, and the alternating possession is going to go to the Jaguars on the right side under their basket with a minute 17 remaining. Crowder passes it in to Zoe Cullen. She shoots, it's no good. Ball pulled out of there by Charlotte Eccles. She has a fast break wide open. It's no good, but she is fouled from behind. Not exactly a bad foul. Number 14, by foul. Quite honestly, if she didn't foul, the shot is probably going to go in the back. So Charlotte Eccles at the line. I'm going to use that on her. So cool, is that four? Three? First shot by Echo off the short rim. A minute and seven left on the clock. Charlie Echo dribbles, spins twice, takes a deep breath, puts it high up. Just rolls off the rim. The ball is on the floor. We have an alternating possession, and this one will go down to the Grizzlies. They're going to get the ball again underneath there with basket on the right side as well. Nick Eckel gets the ball. She pulls it out to the right corner to try to go. It's no good. Right, right, right. Going on the floor for the ball. Shot by Kimes. It's no good. Ball is pulled out. Go, drive it, drive it. Ball is pulled out by number 21, Ariana Crowder. She gives the ball to Zoe Collin. Collin for the Jaguars pushes it ahead with 40 seconds remaining. Dribbles to the right corner. The ball is on the floor. We have an alternating possession. And it will go to the Jaguars. On their baseline in the right corner. Ball is thrown in to the right corner. Ball is dribbled. And the ball is stolen by the Grizzlies. And it's stolen back by number one. That's Shelby Cullen with a very big steal. And then she is fouled. She's fouled by Katie Ann LeMaster. And that's the 17th foul by the Grizzlies. And so the one one is in play. At the line for the Jaguars, number one, Shelby Cullen. Cullen shoots off the glass, off the rim, no good, and it's rebounded by number 10 by the Grizzlies, number 10, Jillian Farley. She passes it to Echo. Echo shoots the ball, rolls in and out. Oh, it was so close, and I have to... Yes, it was Echo who shot that ball. And the ball is to be inbounded by the Grizzlies with 24 seconds remaining. And the Grizzlies coach asked for a timeout. Well, this has been a fun little game for a consolation game. And it's going to be a nice game for these kids to end their season with. 13 to 11 with 24 seconds remaining on the clock. So the question becomes, what play will Coach McLean, LaMaster, and Ringer blow up to win this ball game? You know, one of the things that I had to tell my players in this situation, there's 24 seconds remaining, so they feel this rush to try to score right away. The most important thing is get the ball in bounds. And I would remind them that we still have one timeout remaining. And if they get in trouble, call timeout. Meanwhile, the Jaguars, they have three timeouts remaining. On the defensive side, I would say we will not give up the block. Now focus on the block. I'm going to get beat. I'm going to get beat from the outside. And I would also make the best player 
not catch the ball. I, I put somebody, and they do. They have somebody face guarding the mask or on the inbound. The ball is inbound and passes into time. There you go. That is Carly. Carly shoots. It's no good. And we have a foul. We have a foul on Greenmont, number five. That is Emerson Trislip on the rebound. And so, three one and one is Jefferson will be. I want to make sure I got this number. These numbers are hard to see. I have to apologize. It's number 22, Kennedy Curtis, at the line shooting a one and one with 20 seconds remaining on a stationary clock. She takes three dribbles, four dribbles, five dribbles, eyes the basket, puts it high up, off back rim, it's no good. It's rebounded by Echo, and then we have an alternating possession, and that will go to the Jaguars under their basket with 17.8 seconds remaining. Ball is inbounded, pulled out. We have a scrum for the ball in the left corner. Joey Abernona. Abernona gets the ball back to Charlotte. Oh, 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 and the uh, Wood County Elementary Girls Basketball Tournament. A third place finish for the Jaguars, a third place finish for the Greenmont Grizzlies, both with a very, very successful season. Final score, the Jefferson Jaguars 13, the Greenmont Grizzlies 11. Players for the Greenmont Grizzlies, number one, Rosalie Duncan, Number two, Katie Ann Lamaster. Number three, Emily Schumann. And number four, Sophia Delegati. Number five, Emerson Chrysler. Number 10, Jillian Farley. Number 11, Charlotte Eckel. Number 12, Maggie McLean. Number 13, Ava Strzok. Number 14, Amelia Robinson. Number 15, Bella Yader. Number 20, Kate, Kate and Jay Pines. Excuse me, Kate Pines. Number 23, Payson Hart. And number 30, Kendall Hart. They were coached by Jim McLean, Christian Master, and Chris Ringer. The Grizzlies will end the season with a fourth place finish in the tournament. Meanwhile, the Jefferson Jaguars, they are victorious here with a 13 11 win in the consolation game. They'll finish the season 13 and 3. Players for the Jefferson Jaguars. Zaya Abelmona, number 14. Number 13, Zoe Collins. Number one, Shelby Collins. Number 21, Ariana Crowther. Number 22, Kennedy Curtis. Number 10, Fiona Hagen. Number 15, Maya Barber. Number 12, Fiona Hart. Number five, Elizabeth Rickman. Number 23, Dylan Morrison. Number three, Savannah Modisic. Number 11, Kaya Sims. And number 25, Sophia Thompson. The Jaguars were coached by Ms. Courtney Johnson and Mr. Randall Rutherford. We thank everyone for their participation this year. All the people who helped make this a successful season for all these kids. Thank you from the bottom of the road. From the Jefferson Elementary Center, Final score, the Jefferson Jaguars 13, Fremont Grizzlies 11, the Jaguars are your consolation game winners. Good night.